everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. This is going to be very unpleasant cold weather for these boys to battle as we get ready for the Tennessee Volunteers and the Rebels of Ole Miss. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Rebels. The Rebels expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Tennessee is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Yo, Kirk, you stole my pick. The Rebels are going to win. Tennessee is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He kicks it off. Number 41 has it at the five, tries to shoot. He sheds it. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come on onto the field for the first time today. Well, guys, most of the hype surrounding this game has revolved around this game-breaking tailback. Oh, boy, wait till you see this kid. This kid is a heck of a player, but he's going to go up against a great defense and an even better linebacking core. I think he'll run all over him, Kurt. Let's see how he does. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Number 34 gets three yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 33. Second and seven coming up here. stop at the 37 yard line. There's a flag on the play. Holding on the offense. 10 yards and was caught on the foul. He didn't even try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. It's second and long. Ball on the 24. The Rebels line up in an I formation. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Surveys the field. He's going left. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. with four wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Going deep. Caught! 
He's all the way down to the 22. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. They line up at the 22. First down. The Rebel go with the I formation. Drop back in first down. Backward pass. It's a live ball. They work hard and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. Let's go to my First down. They'll start this drive at the 16 yard line. Number two comes to the line with three wide. Off. Broke away from one. Fumble! Recovered by the offense. Looks like they got a lucky break there, guys. What was the receiver doing on that play? He sure wasn't holding onto the football very well, that's for sure. Second down. The volunteer line up in an I formation. He's rolling right. Here comes the pressure. formation. The cavalry's coming. He rolls out to the left. They bring him down. So he's sacked by the senior at linebacker. Sometimes the quarterback just needs to throw it up and have faith in his receivers. He just held on to it too long. Yeah, but if he just throws it up there, that old free safety's waiting to catch it. Ha, ha, ha. The Volunteers are lining up to punt it away. Number 96 awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Number two takes the 43. A confident defense heads out out of the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Yeah. 
Ole Miss goes with the ace set here. Down he goes at the 37. Number 34 gains about four yards on the play. So that'll make it second down. From the 37-yard line. It's second down and six to go. to pass. Slips it short. It's deflected, and it's incomplete. Number 21 was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it third down. They line up at the 37. Third down. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Rolls to the right. He throws. And it's the senior. Whoa, that was close. Defense thought they held him there. Uh, the offense only got the first down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with the reset of down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 30. Ole Miss sets up in the eye. They'll give it off here. Little shake and bake move. And he's taken down at the 29. Number 34 picks up a yard on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second down and nine to go. Good call offensively. Nah, not a good call. Only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You could never tell. This defense faces another third down. The Rebels go with the I formation. Back to pass. And they get the sack. Wow. He just went boom right down. Mm. That doesn't sound good. Especially when it's your quarterback who goes boom. the punt. Number 15 will be the return man. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 15 signals for a fair catch. He dropped it. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. First 
It's first and goal. They're in the red zone. Looks like they'll try to power right into the heart of the defense. What do you think of this guy? Lee? This guy's a giant tailback playing fullback. He's got all the moves a halfback has. And he's got a powerful fullback. What a great combo. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he converts the extra point. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, Ole Miss, seven, Tennessee, nothing. To kick. Kicks off. Number six takes at the 14. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. The offense will take over at the 33-yard line. The ball are lining up with three receivers. Rolls right, throws it deep downfield. It's tipped. That's some tough defense right there. That ball had no shot at being caught. I disagree. It had a shot at being caught all right. Huh? What are you talking about? You didn't let me finish. It had a shot of being caught by the defensive back. Oh, okay, defensive back. That makes more sense. <laughs> Number 28, alone in the backfield. On play action. Throws it out there. And that one's fallen incomplete. He took his eyes off the ball and dropped it. You gotta squeeze that ball, then think about where you're gonna go. From their own 33 yard line, third and 10. The Volunteer. Line up in an eye formation. Steps up. Waits till the last moment. That pass was knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Yep. Excellent job by the defender that time to get his hands up. And you know what? The quarterback there got lucky that the ball wasn't picked off. Sometimes those passes are deflected at the line. They float end over end right into the hands of the linebacker. Number two is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it off. Number two takes it to 25. 
Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. Well, look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run through. The offense will start at the 27-yard line. 27-yard line. First and 10. Number 34 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Inside. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Number 34 comes away with five yards on the carry. So that'll make it second down. It's second and five here. Ball on the 32. Number 27 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Got hit as he threw. And this one falls incomplete. A little too high for the halfback. The intended receiver on the play. From their own 32-yard line. Third down, five yards to go. Nickel defense drops back to pass. He throws left. He snags it. He's taken down at the 46. Nice little pitch and catch with a wideout. Quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing and right there and pay it off. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. Ole Miss comes out with an eye formation. There's a missed tackle. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Number 34 gets three yards on the carry. They line up at the 49. Second and seven. Number 34, the lone back. They'll keep it on the ground again. A little juice. They'll bring him down at the 45. Number 34 gets six yards on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. One man backfield. Setting up play action. He throws it. Dives and caught. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. And the defensive coordinator is pulling his hair out after that play. I don't think anybody in this stadium expected him to make that catch. First down. They come out with four wide out. First down, look at the throw. He lets it go. Got it. 
And he's brought down at the seven yard line. Flags are down, and this one might be on the Ooh. offense. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. He looked like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't do that. First down. Tennessee. Comes out defensively with six defensive backs. They hand it off. Juke move. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Two-yard pickup. Second and long coming up here. This is the eighth play of this drive. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Number 12 slings it, finds his receiver. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. The offense lines up trying to convert on third down here. Got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. No game on the play. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Ace backfield. Number 12 throws it out there, and it falls incomplete. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. And they've got the momentum now. Now let's see if they can put the ball in the end zone. This drive will start at the 31. The Volunteers go with the I formation. First down, look at the throw. Under pressure, and they got it. three-yard line. It's second down and a long ways to go. Number 28 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. The 
give it off here. And he hits him hard at the 19. Ole Miss just took their first time out. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 19-yard line. Two tight ends here. He'll get it again. He's tackled at the 22. Ole Miss will take their second time out of the half. So they're set to punt this one away. Number two, the return man. Number 96 hunts it away. And this is just a beauty. Great pick. Number two kills it the 31. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. First down. I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Drops back on first down. Looks. He fires. The ball is tipped. It falls incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Ole Miss, seven, Tennessee, nothing. Ole Miss got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number 27 takes it to 14. He's hit and got away. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. Set up shot at the 29. They come out of the nickel. Setting up the play action. Here's the long ball, left side. And that one's falling incomplete. That's just a missed opportunity by this offense. You know what? The receiver should have made this play. The ball was well thrown and didn't look like anybody was covering him. 99 times out of 100, he'll make that catch. He was just unfortunate there. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 29. Taken down at the 34-yard line. Number 28 comes away with five yards on the carry. Third and 
and five coming up. The Volunteers come out showing three wide. He's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defense now has four sacks in the ball game. one away. Number 96 awaits the snap. They get this one off and it's a beauty. Calls for the fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 22. They line up in an eye. Inside give. He breaks the second tackle. Has some daylight. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts were too well on that play. You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. First and ten. The Rebels come out in the ace formation. And they'll run him again. And he's taken down at the 46. They get three yards on the play. Second down and seven. The Rebels line up with a single set backfield. Gives it up the gut. He's hit and got away. 
Brought down at the 46-yard line. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. It's first and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Number 34 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Feeds it to the back. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That running back has to shake that tackle. Corners are not supposed to bring you down behind the line of scrimmage. Come on, Kirk. That was a good-looking play by the corner. He did a good job of wrapping up and not letting him go anywhere. And 12. From the 48-yard line, second down. They line up in an eye. They'll keep it on the ground again. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. They line up at the 49. Third and 13. One man backfield. He's looking to pass. Steps up, throws it to the outside. And he's going the other way. Not a good decision there. Why did he even throw that pass? Well, this is a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This cornerback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. Unsportsmanlike conduct. 15 yard penalty, first down. They'll take over at the 31 yard line. Number 28 lines up as a single back. First down, look at the throw. Somehow gets the ball away, and he hits him hard at the 38. What a catch! I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. As we just saw, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. They'll start at the 38-yard line. The ball bring in the nickel package. Throws, and it's incomplete. Number 16 was the intended target on the play, so that'll make it second down. From the 38-yard line, second down. Yeah. 
Here's the give. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Number 34 gets about four yards on the play. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the 34. Third down. They line up in the shotgun. Direct snap to the back. They'll get him for a loss. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed the linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safety. They credit the big guys up front for that play. Number 27 lines up in the deep back, eye formation, lets it fly. It's complete, tackled for a loss. Big stop there for the defense. And you can feel a little bit of momentum shift there, Coach. Yep, that was the very crucial turnover run down. Because now this offense has a chance to get themselves right back into the game. The offense will take over at the 38. Number 28, the lone back. He looks to throw on first down. Let's it fly. That's incomplete. Kirk. Yeah, coach. Did you see that drop pass? Yeah, but it's safe to say that he heard footsteps, don't you think? I mean, the defender almost got there at the same time as the football. All right. Well, the correct answer is yes, he did drop the football. Come on, sweetheart. The quarterback is trying to get to the ball. He got to make those kind of plays out there. Comes out in a 3-4. Drops back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Looking. And he's going to be sacked. situation here on third and long ball on the 32 yard line Tennessee comes out in the shotgun he drops back here comes the pressure sheds that one steps up in the pocket they brought him down for the sack at the 24. They brought heat from the corner that time. Yes, they did. And as you saw, they come up with a spectacular defensive play right there. We played three. And we're locked in a tight one with a score. Ole Miss, seven, Tennessee, nothing. Four and one. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number two is back deep to return. The 
number 96. Punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Number two fields it at the 30. Across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Ole Miss. He made it look easy there, guys. Yeah, we saw the same things all week in practice, Brad. He makes it look so easy out there. No question, Coach. Whenever he touches the football, he just knows something special is going to happen. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. Splits the upright for the extra point. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Ole Miss, 14, Tennessee, nothing. this one off number 27 and number six back deep to return and it's off number 27 field to the 19 guys what are you thinking at this point in the game well time isn't on their side anymore they need to get this ball down the field and get in the end zone you're right coach it's now a two possession game not too much time to spare They'll go to work at the 32. Ole Miss going with a three-man front. He's looking. He's under pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Second down. The ball. Go with the eye formation. Looks to pass. Surveys the field. They bring him down. We've got third and long here. The Volunteers are lining up with three receivers. Looking, rolling out to the right side. He's going right. This one is incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with the pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They come out in the front formation. Number two, back to receive. And you better believe this is the last guy they want to punt to. Number 96, punts it. And he really got a leg into this one. 
Number two fields it at the 39. It's a little late in the game to be punting with a two-possession deficit, don't you think, Coach? I think so, but this coach has a lot of faith in his defense. The problem is that he needs his offense to step up and put points on the board. And they can't do that when they're catching wind on the bench. They'll take over at the 40. Number zero with three wide receivers. Halfback pass. Batted ball. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. It's first and a mile. Ball on their own 30. They're in the eye. Makes a move. Missed tackle. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. Number 34 picks up about seven yards on the run. It's second down. Yeah. Ole Miss comes out with an eye formation. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third down. Ball on the 37 yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Give it off here. Make the move. Tackle at the 42. Nice defensive stand there. And it's a good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. Tennessee will take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Bulls line up to punt. Number 97 is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. 
Number 27, fields this to 17. What do you guys think this offense will try to do now after that nice punt return? I think this one is just too far out of reach. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. Tennessee lines up for the shotgun set. Looks under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Ole Miss comes out in the 3-4. He's looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. We've got third and long here. Ball on their own nine. The ball set up in the gun. He steps up, looks, and they got him. Well, the offense is going to have to find an answer to this pass run. Yes, they do, Kirk. That's now his third sack of the game. The Volunteers call for a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He rolls out to the right. Throws it. Catches it. And he shoved out of bounds at the four. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. Ole Miss looks to take a commanding three-score lead here. They'll give it off here. Number 34 loses the handle. Tennessee will take their last time out. Here they go, only two yards from Pater. Ole Miss lines up in a goal line set. One, two, three. Touchdown, Rebels! That score puts this game out of reach. I'll tell you what, sweetheart, it's going to take an amazing comeback to win this game. But three scores is too much to overcome with this much time left. You know, they wanted to close this game out, and that's just what they did with that touchdown right there. They'll line up for the extra point here.
converts the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Ole Miss 21, Tennessee nothing. And number six, back ready to return. And it's a short kickoff. Number 27 fields it at the 13. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Did we see a similar result this time? First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. The ball lined up with a single set back field. First down, look at the throw. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Hold it. Hold it off. Ten-yard penalty. He didn't even try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. It's first and a mile. Ball on their own 33. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking. He's under some heat. He's sacked at the 26. Shotgun, drops back to pass. He's in trouble, and he's gonna be sacked. is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's looking. He throws a dart to the right. The defender had it and then dropped it. So the defense stops him on third down. Those were three very good plays by this defense. Yeah, Kurt. They really buckled down with this lead. They're playing very well. Tennessee. Ready to put this one away. Number six, the return man. Number 96, hunts it away, and this one's got some distance. Number six, fields it at the 38. So this defensive skirmish is all over. 
Kirk, any final thoughts here? There weren't any surprises today, Brad. Tennessee did a very poor job at executing their game plan out there on the field. And I think you can attribute that to poor preparation. These guys looked like they didn't even know what was going on in the field half the time. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Ole Miss 21, Tennessee nothing. For League Corso, Kirk Street, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.